Currently, I have the EcoFlow 110 watt panel plugged into the OOPS. Not my favorite power station, but it's 8 millimeter. It's getting about 42 watts. Also, out here, I have my Renergy Eclipse 100 watt panel that is plugged into nothing. So, I want to put these two in parallel because why the heck not now what i have been doing is trying to catch this in the act of not playing well with my solar and that means my parallel cables are in here because i've been measuring voltage and stuff using that and that but i'm about to take this off because i need these parallel cables i actually just ordered me some more parallel cables because I, you know, I'm about to use these and I need some for testing. Boom, dizzle, high kizzle. Now, I also forgot to grab an extension cable. Basically, the name of the game during this season is consolidation. I wanna put more and more panels together to produce power than be out here having separate panels going into separate power stations. I'm still a fan of that. I want more panels into less power stations. You feel me? Okay, first piece is done. Now I just need an extension cable to get from here to there. And this panel really shouldn't be right here. It's too close over here because it can't stay there. It's my gate opening. I legit hate what this is super long cable is going to do to my porch, but um, it's temporary. I just want to max out the power because we're not getting a whole lot of sun this season. Now, because they'll be in parallel, it's dope because I can put this anywhere considering the cable. Shoot, I even got a 50 foot 10 gauge cable. <laughs> So I can literally hook these in parallel, run this down here, and just put that panel anywhere out there. <laughs> That'd be a bit much, but it gets sun, more sun than this little dip is gonna get at the end of the day. That's something to think about. I'm not gonna do it right now. The, the purpose of right now is power. So let's get that. Before I connect those up, let's do another power check. Uh, still same amount of watts, about 40. All right, let's see here. There you go. 72. So we're gonna let that while out. And maybe it'll get full. And then really at the end of the day, the Blue Eddy EB3A will probably sit here as a function of charging other devices. But this is good too. I mean, you know what I mean? But the, if the power should exceed 100 watts, then my AC, my, <laughs> I keep wanting to call it that, my EB3A can actually take in the power and not limit 